Okay, thank you very much. And uh, it's a great honor for me to be invited and give three lectures here. So my first topic is my experience about stem cell injection in osteoarthritis. So, what is stem cell? That is a, a kind of a building block of the body and uh, a cell the, whose job in the body is not yet determined. So, every other cell in the body stems from this type of cell. So consequently, I would say a stem cell specializes into a particular cell depending on the signals it receives. So, we may say the stem cell is a, a kind of a signal cell. Because the stem cell can repair the damaged tissue that cannot heal itself, such as a spinal cord disorder, diabetes, heart disease, blood disorders, and muscular skeletal disorders, including knee osteoarthritis, and neurological disorders, we are very interested in stem cell treatment. So stem cells, we may divide into two, uh, the embryonic stem cell from the embryo and the uh, adult stem cell. That is quite uh, interesting for us because we can easily obtain and uh, many researchers are doing using uh, mesenchymal stem cells. Also in the laboratory, we can induce the pluripotent stem cells. So mesenchymal stem cell is an uh, inherent ability for self-renewal and the proliferation and differentiation toward the mature tissues. So it's attractive for use in cell therapy and regenerative medicine now. It is originated from various tissues, from the bone marrow, adipose tissue, umbilical cord, synovium, and peripheral blood, and so on. So it's a relatively easy of harvesting compared to any other stem cells. In the osteoarthritis, we may use uh, mesenchymal stem cell. The, the big two deep mechanism is like that. The first mechanism is stem cell may induce the catalyst, so the chondrogenic differentiation potential with TGF-beta. And the other one is stem cell may modulate and uh, immune modulation. So very good uh, materials like uh, uh, good cytokines and um, uh, growth factors can induce by stem cell. So immunologic modulation is another the mechanism of the uh, treatment for osteoarthritis. So clinical application using a stem cell, we may, of course, the surgical treatment for the stem cell inject uh, stem cell. So stem cell directly embedded into bioscaffold and the direct delivery to the defect area. So, so far, good clinical improvement and better histologic scores in several studies uh, reported. But it requires hospitalization and, of course, the operation and anesthesia. Contrast, the injection method is a very simple way, as you know, like a hyaluronic acid injection or steroid injection in outpatient clinic. So it's a very uh, helpful for elderly person, and uh, also the patient uh, is not suitable for anesthesia or operation. So intraarticular injection of a mesenchymal stem cell, uh, so far, despite of many advantages and convenience, but only a few clinical studies have performed and reported using an intraarticular injection of mesenchymal stem cells or knee osteoarthritis. This is a very uh, uh, informative the report by Orozco. It's a, a kind of pilot study, so there is no control group, though. They uh, performed 20 chronic, uh, 12 chronic uh, knee osteoarthritis, perform, uh, osteoarthritis patients uh, to the injection. They used the autologous bone marrow-derived mesenchymal stem cell and the clinical outcome was very uh, improved by two years. So they recommend mesenchymal stem cell injection may be a valid alternative treatment for neosarthritis. Also, another group reported using allogenic bone marrow mesenchymal stem cell with the same the dosage to the old course study, and 
even they use the allogenic mesenchymal stem cell, there is no major adverse effect and very similar clinical good uh, outcomes compared to the old course study. Our group has also performed phase 1 and 2A clinical trials and published the stem cells, but it, was, it has some uh, performance bias because uh, we treated not only the mesenchymal stem cell injection, but also we performed arthroscopic lavage to see the intra-articular finding before and after the treatment. And also admission required because of surgery we performed. And also uh, at that time there was no control group. So again, uh, we performed phase 2B clinical trials with control group. So that was purpose, that's purpose was to assess the efficacy and safety of single intraarticular injection of a high dosage. So uh, one by 100 million uh, cells autologous adipose derived mesenchymal stem cell for patients with knee osteoarthritis at six months follow up. And it was a randomized, double blinded, and placebo controlled study in outpatient clinic. It was performed at two operatic uh, orthopedic centers, including my hospital, and it was approved by uh, IRB and Korean FDA. We included an knee osteoarthritis patient with a KL grade 2 and 4 and uh, healthy patients. We excluded a high BMI patient and a severe virus patient. Sample size we calculated and, uh, and for the edifice drive the mesenchymal stem cells we have partners so our bio company they made the cultured a high dosage of adipose drive mesenchymal stem cell. So in the outpatient clinic, uh, we performed lipo aspiration, and we sent to the, the company, and they cultured. So the survival rate at least 87 percent for 72 hours at this uh, temperature. So control group and the treatment group was uh, evenly 12 patients. And the control group, only we injected the placebo normal cell line, same amount intraarticularly. And the treatment group, uh, we injected the adipose drive autogenous mesenchymal stem cells in a single shot with the three millimeter with a normal cell line added. Every injection uh, we performed on the ultrasonoguided to exact inject to the uh, inside of the knee joint. So for the primary outcome, we uh, assessed the WOMAX scores and also other VAS and CUS scores we evaluated and radiological evaluation included not only for simple radiograph but also for MRI uh, assessment. Also, we used the modified noise grading system used and the size of cartilage defects were to assessed. Adverse event, we assessed and this is a statistic method. The demographics, as you see, the both group, the similar age, so age, patient age was 62 years in average and mostly the patient was female. And the BMI was 25 or 26 in average. And the KL grade was mainly grade 2 and grade 3. There was only one grade 4, maybe we can ignore. So hip knee ankle was almost neutral, so we excluded uh, severe uh, virus or moderate virus. So more than 60 degree virus patient we excluded. This is primary outcome, the WOMAX score. As you see, the total score, pain, stiffness, function, so compared to control, normal cell injection group, mesenchymal stem cell group improved significantly. Also, VES and CUS scores improved significantly compared to the control group. The radiologic result, there is no significant difference between mesenchymal stem cell and control group at six months follow up. Even though the MRI, the, the defector size was decreased in mesenchymal stem cell group, but there is no significant difference. 
Interestingly, the control group, the normal cell line injection group, their defect is a little bit larger, larger than the pre-injection stage. So it was the, the significant different. And the adverse effect is, was not uh, occurred, the severe adverse event, and only a very minor uh, adverse event like a joint effusion or some uh, arthritis occurred, especially in the mesenchymal stem cell group. This is a case. 61-year-old male, and uh, you see the joint space is uh, already narrow. It's some various, various around the five degree various patient. So we injected the stem cell, and uh, compared to baseline, the six month follow up. Also, the primary the study was designed at six months follow up, but some patients still followed until three years, and uh, all the patients followed the at two years now. So the three years, until three years, there is a significant improved compared to baseline uh, scores. And you see, the very, this is very interesting. This is baseline, and this is a six months MRI. You see, it's a very hard to see the difference between the baseline and six months. But interestingly, this is a two-year follow-up MRI, as you see, compared to the baseline six months, the defect thickness is decreased, and also the cartilage thickness on the femoral side is somewhat increased compared to baseline and six months follow-up. And 65-year-old housewife, also you see the, the definite osteophyte and joint space narrowing on the medial side with various minus four degree and that we injected mesenchymal stem cell. So up to three years, there's a significantly improved in Womack scores. Also, you see, this is baseline and also six months uh, follow-up after injection. You see the, almost a similar finding in both MRI, but two years MRI, you see the defect thickness is quite decreased and somewhat increased in the femoral cartilage on, uh, on the medial side. Also, sagittal showed a similar finding. And also, recently I'm doing the mesenchymal stem cell injection in high tibial osteotomy patient, so severe virus patient. This is my ongoing uh, study, so I, uh, I, I want to show only one case. So, so the 90, uh, 59 old female, you see the virus, and uh, I already performed the left side with high tibial osteotomy using Tomofix, and the right side she uh, wants to have the same operation. The MRI shows the big, huge osteophyte and the medial and also the tibial side, the cartilage defect on the medial side. At the time of operation, I always performed the, the arthroscope. So you see the tibial plateau and the femoral side, there's a big cartilage defect area on the medial. So I, I performed high tibial osteotomy using Tomopix like this. And this is, sorry, this is, a, Six months follow-up MRI, you see the on the medial side, not only for the femoral side and also tibial side, you see the almost the recovered the, the cartilage thickness on the medial side, like this. This, this is medial defect on the femoral, uh, femoral side, but this defect showed the cartilage regeneration at six months follow-up. And also here is the same, and the T2 map mapping showed also improved the cartilage condition after six months follow-up. So I think the keystone of OA treatment in mesenchymal stem cell is a, two things. It's a direct effect of a stem cell. It may uh, induce the chondrocyte and eventually 
uh, cartilage can be developed. So it's a de regenerative effect of stem cell. The other one is uh, immune modulatory anti-inflammatory action, like a, a paracrine effect. So stem cell strategy are emerging as a powerful tool for OA treatment with both mechanisms. So, in conclusion, intraarticular injection. I administered the suspension containing therapeutically active autologous adipose derived mesenchymal stem cell in patients with knee OA. I think high dosage mesenchymal stem cell would be ideal for the treatment. And the intraarticular injection is very technically easy and and uh, adipose drive is very less, uh, less invasive compared to any other uh, mesenchymal stem cell obtained and uh, suitable for the outpatient clinic. The significant reduction in clinical scores and sustained over two years after intraarticular single injection of mesenchymal stem cells. Improved in WOMAC scores, that is primary outcome together with a mild effect on MRI, suggests the positive effect of mesenchymal stem cell on their paracrine function and some of chondrogenesis as well. So I think intra-articular injection of mesenchymal stem cell may have a role in the treatment of generalized osteoarthritis for clinical and functional improvement. Thank you very much for your kind attention.